Yeah. Like, I mean, there are rumours he's still alive. So if he is... He probably oh, exactly. is. He's I, I think Bowie. most of those, Bowie's definitely most of those dead musicians are probably just on an island somewhere. Definitely. So if what you can f- find that island, Frisland. you can play with all of them. Frisland, yeah. yeah. It's an Frisland. island called Frisland. Okay. And they all live it there. It doesn't exist anymore, apparently. No? It doesn't exist on any maps, no. but it used to. Try to make your day brighter Shut the fuck up, pass that fucking lighter Baby, I've been inside too long Sorry if these rhymes sound a little off I'm just like you, man, don't even think about fighting I'm human too, man, we're both just living and dying Whatever's cool, man, just keep everything quiet Don't go spill all my secrets They probably won't buy a daily gratitude I don't know what the fuck I'm doing Every single day I'm full of twisty interlude I need a break from all the metal People like to walk the metal Anyway, okay, um, let's go back, yeah. back to reality, back to insanity, back to the moment of whatever's fucking happening. Just Take a moment, man, yeah. chill out and relax, kick your feet up, put your seat up, but I never, that's like what everyone says. Well, guess what, I'm included in the movement of not giving flying fucks, what I actually do, cause I gotta pay for shit, you know, yeah. unless you're rich or some shit, then you wouldn't know, daily gratitude, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, every single day I'm cool as whiskey. Shit. At the end of the day, people don't give a shit Give a shit about the things that are actually relevant You know, like wars and political problems and things like that At the end of the day, I'm just like you, I said it Don't know what else to say, I'ma just talk some bullshit We're all equal, all deserve the same thing yeah. 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 anything Daily gratitude, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing Every single day I'm cool as whiskey Interlude, I need a book from all the metal people Let's get what's the metal daily Dude, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing Every single day I'm full as whiskey Interlude, I need a break from all the metal people Let's go with the metal Dealing gratitude, dealing gratitude Fuck it, I fuck it, I fucking gratitude I don't think it's limbo. No, it's not. Like, it's not. Listen, thing. let's <laughs> let's not let's not give out to me about my incorrect use of the word limbo. Do you even limbo? Hashtag Do you even limbo? Hi. 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 I think we've started. It began. Yeah. yeah. Have we? It's rolling. Yeah. It's rolling. Oh, oh God. yeah. For, for how long? For the entire conversation. Oh. We won't put any of it in. Don't worry. <laughs> but if you really, maybe if they send it, if maybe if like. A Texan businessman can get a million dollars together and send it to us. We'll send them the unedited intro to this. Okay. Yes, is that the plan? Yeah. Okay, done. Maya Foley, welcome to the Beard Fire Podcast. Yeah, thank you for having me. You are very, very much. Um, <laughs> my first I, podcast. <laughs> hashtag my first podcast. Very cool. Well, we are honored. Your best and worst podcast today. Oh yeah. Yes, <laughs> and everything in between. And so when you're an international megastar. We mm. will be able to put your picture on the wall and say, yes, Maya podcasted here first. Well, you know, you'll get more people viewing your That's podcast. That's the idea. Yeah. So it's yeah. a win-win. Yeah, it's exactly. a, it's a huge win-win. Yeah. Everyone will love us <laughs> mm. because of your reflected, uh, reflected glory from yeah. Maya Foley. So your name is Maya Foley. My name is Maya Foley. And is that your stage name also? No, it's just my name. Um, I was thinking of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you... Yeah. Have you, have you thought of some kind of, like, artist I, name? Yeah, but... Well, Maya's already name. very cool. I think Maya, but there is a Maya. There's, like, probably, like, oh, 80 really? Mayas on... There's there's one big Maya that yeah. was in um, Moulin Rouge or something. I mm. remember. Did she die? No, was that Aaliyah? Who died? I don't know. Some Some one of them died. Did they? Oh. Well, well, maybe it was her. Okay. Maybe there's room for another Maya. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just take them out one by one. Yeah. That'd be a great movie as well. But, um, so, where are you at currently with the, the stage name well, discussions? 
Uh, I think Maya. Maya is what I'm sticking with. Because okay, Maya Foley nice. is... It's four syllables... No one has time for that right. these days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it needs to be snappy, you know? Also, so. I think, like, it, you know, I think your, your style of music, first of all, you're the, I feel like you're the kind of person that could go anywhere genre-wise, which is really cool. There is a, it's all genres. There's a lot of diversity mm. there, yeah. which is really, really cool. Um, so, you know, you don't necessarily want to, because I think a lot of the, a lot of the stuff that we've heard, um, you know, it, it has like a, fairly heavy hip hop element in in a lot of it I would say in terms of the, mm. the production yeah. um and but you know you don't want to call yourself like Lil Maya Lil Maya if he's <laughs> if skirt you know, skirt or whatever I have a guy in my college that he's he's a really good mixer he's got a record deal and everything okay yeah he's yes. mad and he's only 19 yeah and he just calls my dad Lil Al Lil Al. Because <laughs> I started out with Big Al, but he was like, no, it's Lil Al. Lil, Lil Al's core. So Lil Maya, you know, it, it could, could work. Yeah, it could I mean, happen. you're related, so, you know. Yeah, like there's Lil, no copy right Lil, there. Lil yeah. <laughs> there's no copy right there. <laughs> you, you've already said, like, you're... You're going to call yourself Maya, and there's definitely already a Maya. And then you're like, oh, there's no other little Mayas. Yeah, there's just so many options, so... There are. Mm. Don't overthink it. Um, mm. But yeah, Maya's good. I guess you could do is the is the Maya who's famous the same spelling M Y A. She's a weird symbol on the Y. I don't know what it's called. It's like nice. a nice. You, you, know, you like, can not have a weird symbol on the Y. Yeah. Is it? It'll be easier to write. Or an even weirder it's, yeah, the symbol. Father thing, or but a it's, it's definitely not a father. It's not Irish. No. Mm. But Does it's, it squiggle? No, it's it just like a wave? it's just a slant. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I have no idea. But anyway, we've talked about the name. That, we now. got a lot of time out of that name. <laughs> Yeah, it is a cool surprising. name. Is is there any background to it? Like why your parents called you Maya? Um, there's a cartoon called Maya the Bee. Maya the Bee. Wow. I've never seen there's it. There's your stage name. Maya the Bee. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. I'll cool. just wear some black and yellow as well. Yeah. Wait, was she actually a bee? Yeah, it was a cartoon. Maya what? the Bee. In what world is there a cartoon called oh. Maya the Bee just where Maya's not out. a bee? Yo yo. Should we just suddenly have coffee? Yes, we should just suddenly <laughs> have a coffee and tea. All right. <coughs> oh gosh, whose is what? Hold, hold that for a second. Which one? You hold this for a second. It's like tea. They all look the same. This is this not def- tea. How do you know? It has the foamy thing at the top. So this says foam too. So has... by process of elimination. <laughs> oh, that is I guess. tea. Do you have milk in? No, it's just. Tea? It should be just. Is any of this? Just o- open the tops. Maybe he did. That is not tea, though. I know that for sure. What's open that? Or are you just going to sip going it? In it? It's <laughs> all in there. <laughs> <laughs> the mystery of the tea. Hang on. This is tea. Hey! hey. Yeah. Wait, what? That's tea? It looks like it. Do you not eat? But it's just normal tea. I think you asked for herbal tea. It's. They probably didn't have any. Losers. Oh, yeah. Do better. Losers. You know? Green do. spirit. I don't think that's the company. All right, so oh, oh you just spilled tea. Oh my god! Do you want a oh, napkin? You spilled the tea on our I'm podcast. I'm more worried about the mic. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Tea adds flavor to the sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so you started with the guitar. <laughs> with my hands oh, everywhere. I need, I need to clean this shit up. <laughs> tea. Yeah. Okay. How many teas out of tea? Oh my god, no, it's coffee. What? Wait, can you drink coffee? Yeah. What do you mean, can I... No, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm just gonna explode. <laughs> That'd be great for the podcast, I'll be honest. Oh my god, yeah. Um, so you will drink that coffee, even though it's coffee? You know... We'll survive. Yeah. Alright, so... We move. We move. <laughs> we we stan. That's yeah. a thing that people say. Well, is it? I don't right. think it... It shouldn't be. Think it, means. it does mean what I think. Well, not in this context. Anyway, listen. Focus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, what was the first instrument you started playing? I, okay, I started with ukulele. This mm-hmm. was before my music production years, which was okay. two years ago. I started ukulele like three years ago. Mm-hmm. So I was there sitting there playing Billy Eilish and whatnot. Yeah. I actually did, I didn't play Riptide. 
Wow, congratulations. Never. You're the I'd, first I've never learned person it. to play a ukulele and not play like, it, Is that even possible? I, I just refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know it was a ukulele song. It's I a it massive TikTok. ukulele song. I you know. can learn all the songs from those like insurance ads as well. Yeah, yeah, bank ads. Yeah. Like every bank ad. Because they're, they're trying to catch you off guard. Mm. Mm. Take out a loan. It's only 20 grand. You know? <laughs> and so they put like happy... We like, own your soul now. We own yeah. your soul now. It'll only take you 400 years to pay it back. It's psychological shit. It's psychological. Mm. They figured out that the ukulele is the least um, threatening, threatening instrument. instrument. So they use it in all those ads yeah. where they want people to do things that they probably shouldn't. <laughs> so, so you're one of these people. <laughs> Supporter of the ukulele, huh? Yeah, well, not anymore. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I did start out with that, and then mm. I actually got an iPad that mm. was supposed to be for art because I'm an artist uh, as well. Okay. Ooh. So I started drawing on it, and I got bored, and I just Go the Derek's iPad man. was sitting there mm. on my desk, and I left school. Good. Just after I got the iPad, so yeah, good. I know. Do you know? Did you know? I left school. I did, and I didn't even get an iPad because they weren't invented Did you yet. know I didn't even go to school? Alex has never been did to school. You? I never... One day. Were you like, homeschooled? Basically. Semi. Yeah. I was I was a bit homeschooled. Legally, I was homeschooled. Yes, Same. if anyone asks. Yeah. But he was basically what's called unschooled. He just read books and played on your swing and played music and ran around yeah. and played video games. and Pretty much. Well, if you know how to edit And now he owns a studio. So... Suck that education system. <laughs> Turned out well. <laughs> <laughs> Turns yeah. out you can grow a brain on your own. Yeah, mm. you and can. by living normally. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I didn't go with any of the curriculum either. I kind of, I started out doing all algebra, and my mom just went, "No, you don't need to know that. I yep. don't oh, need to know algebra." That. You've already got for... one owl in your life. Your dad. <laughs> yeah. And you don't need an owl. No. Trying to make like a bra, like a brother. Algebra. Yeah, you didn't quite get there. Didn't. Algebra. Algebra. Do you have brothers and sisters? I have a little sister, yeah. yeah. What age is she? She's 11. She's Aww. she's turning into a teenager, so oh, cool. I don't know what to do get with ready. it. Get ready. I'm so prepared. You're like, oh no, another me. I'm just me. waiting for the day. <laughs> what's yeah. her name? She's Melissa. She's, oh my God. She loves my music as well. I love Good. her. She nice just friend. comes in and she's like, have you made any new songs? Nice, nice. That's yeah. great. And so, um, you know, you've been... You've had this kind of evolution. You were saying a couple of years now working on music production. You, I presume you went from Garage Band into Logic, did you? Yeah, God. So I started on Garage Band um, two years ago, and I've I don't know how I haven't found any other software, and I don't know how I've made the things I have. On oh, it. No, but Logic. It's so Logic's limited. Right. It's Logic or no, Garage, Garage, Garage Band? Band. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Garage Band has its limits. Oh, yes, yeah. definitely. Wait, have you gone to Logic yet? Oh, yeah, I'm on Logic Okay, now. okay. I only got it a month ago. Oh, wow, well, okay. All right, okay. So, and it's a bit of a learning curve, isn't it? Like, things are slightly more complex and in different places and stuff, but... Yeah, it's. I think it's, it's just a, a switch to the computer, because I'm normally on a touchscreen. Oh, uh, yeah. And now it's, like... And then you're dragging weird. Kyle over to play your drums and... Kyle. <laughs> Is Kyle one of them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course Kyle's one of them. Yeah, yeah. Kyle. I can see his, I can see his shadow, right yeah. Like... <laughs> He's got dreads or something. But, like, to be honest, I, I think it was a great way for you to start. And, yeah, like, yeah. especially in some, like, production, which is so massive and open of a topic, mm-hmm. limitation is actually really important for creating shit. Yeah. Because yeah. if you can do anything you want, you you just do well, what's it called? Choice paralysis? Yeah. So when you have too many choices and too many options, it can be hard Going back to, to what I said start. before, like, you know, yeah, trying yeah, yeah, to yeah. find the perfect snare all night, you know yeah. what I mean? Whereas if you have limitations you have to work within that to come up with some creative stuff yeah yeah. so do you do you record the guitars like into the thing or all samples it's all samples do you play guitar i play a little bit of guitar okay okay i play like six chords you know that's all you need i can pick though because of ukulele i can pick like really well that people are surprised about even though i can't i don't know chords so i'm not just kind of going along (laughs) that's great it's great to have that and like you said you chop you know so you bring in samples and you can put effects on them you pitch them you you, you chop them you move them around yeah make them your own and there are there's loads of examples of of hit songs that have used actual garage band yeah. samples and stuff like that. Yeah, their, I'm hearing it. Yeah. And their thing. So, the um, there's no real, you know, look, it's it's a means to an end. And at the end of the day, um, you know, if it's good, 
it'll break through and, and it sounds unique. And certainly like hearing your stuff and seeing you live the first time, <laughs> it was great. It was jaw dropping. Yeah. Oh my God. My first gig. I don't. <laughs> that was your first gig, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. That was insane. I, I thought it was so bad. And people How were coming up you? to me really? going, it was so good. And I was like, no, it was bad. They were like, no, it was genuinely good. But you had yeah. I remember, I was just like walking around. Yeah. And then the everyone's you, just like. You kicked into that first song. And by, I think I by like the third both. time you said, fuck, I was just like. <laughs> no, I saw you both like popping out from the wall. And I, I just like <laughs> sat and watched that like whole You were both like, oh my God, who's that? And I was like, oh, shame people are looking. All right. You know, but yeah. No, that first song actually replayed like halfway through. So it just... did seem long. Oh. What happened? What happened? It started and it got to the first chorus and then it started again. Why? But Is that was, how you exported it? it like, was, you didn't mean to? No, I think it was just the same guy. But it's not his fault. I don't know what he did. No, but also, can I just but, say, like, if you didn't tell me that, yeah, I wouldn't you have played thought. it off. That's, I got feedback from that. Yeah. Yeah, great. People were saying... Like, we didn't it, know. Very good. And this is it, you know... You know, you, you do you've you've done a bit of acting as well. Um, mm. We learnt before we came on, <laughs> <laughs> and and that really comes through in your show. Mm. Yeah, um, you know, the fa- yeah, the facial expressions, yeah. the movement, and all that matching actually what you're doing, which is so yeah. cool because I think a lot of people do either they um, either they kind of freeze up in a performance mode. And, you know, kind of don't know what to do with their body or their face. And they might have a great voice and a great song. Um, but, you know, if you look at artists like David Bowie and um, Mark Bolan and, I don't know, Madonna, loads of people, like loads of people, modern people, Lady, G- Lady Gaga, you know, people like that who realize how important the, the you know, the visual and, um, yeah. and, and creative... Uh, acting aspect of music is it's a huge part of it you know mm. and it's really cool i mean your first gig what the hell so yeah. you were already completely um engaging um which is so cool yeah you know i was just freaking out i was trying <laughs> to get the look right i was trying to act right and then i got up and i was like oh shit oh, yeah. it's yeah. the time but you know and a hundred you had to go a hundred percent or nothing and you went a hundred percent which is really cool yeah. I, I tried my best and it turned out fine. I actually got my dad's friend to record it as well for oh, nice. a future music video. Like so, the video, the video aspect of it. Yeah, he brought in a camera and just video, recorded yeah, the gig. That's really cool. Great, 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 great. Have so, you got any other gigs coming up? I don't yet. Mm, I need to get some. I'm just getting contacts right now. Well, exactly. And yeah. also, listen, the thing is, you've got to be, you've got to be careful with gigs because you can oversaturate First of all, you can become jaded yourself if you're doing too many gigs. Mm-hmm. It wears you down. You're you know? Too many, too many of the wrong too kind. Wordy, of wordy. What's, what's in this? In this I, I think there is sugar in this, which is weird. <laughs> yeah, it's still nice though. It's nice. It's, it's, nice just, for it's very sugary, I, it, isn't it? Yeah, th- no, the sugar is all at the bottom, so it's just like oh. it's a syrup, a slurpy syrup. Anyway, you were gonna say something. What was I gonna say? Nothing. Oh yeah, no, some like you have to do the right kind of gigs as well because yeah, you can get drawn into. Things that just seem really cool, but they don't matter. You get there and you're like, "Why am I here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be here. None of the people here want me here." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. and and saturation as well. So like, if you gig too much, there's no incentive for people to come and see you because it's like, "Oh, yeah. she plays every week. She plays." Every yeah, week. I'll see her next week. I'll see her next week. Whereas if you do kind of three or four yeah, really like tasty really... showcase gigs hmm. a year, that's loads. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then and then if you get get signed and get lucky and you get put on a tour. And, you're doing a support or something. Ah, here's a question I like to ask people. Um, in terms of your, like, mm-hmm. ar- artists that you're interested in and like, um, who would you love to go on tour with? Who would you go on tour with? Oh, they're all dead. They're all dead. They all died. Mm-hmm. You hear Most that, kids? Them. They're you know, dead. Anderson Pack. I who? Love, you know, and um, Bruno Mars. Yes. He yeah. Silk Sonic. Mm-hmm. The other guy. Oh, oh really? I didn't know the name of the other guy. <laughs> he's, he's actually... Is he alive? Nobody does. He's alive. No, he's alive. Okay, sweet. Uh, he's a he's a modern artist, yeah. Mm. But he's he's very funky with his music. Mm. He's right. he doesn't hold back. Right. And you know, like Michael Jackson as well. Yep. That would be yeah. cool if I could if tour with him. We could resurrect <laughs> his corpse and put his nose back on and yeah, hit, the, yeah. hit the stage. Like yeah. I mean, there was rumors he's still alive. So if he is, he probably oh, exactly. is. He's I, I think most of those Bowie's definitely most of those alive. dead musicians are probably just on an island somewhere. Definitely, so. if what you can find that island, Frisland. You can play with all of them. Frisland, yeah, yeah. it's an island called Frisland. Okay, 
and they all live it there. It doesn't exist anymore, apparently. No? It doesn't it... exist on any maps, no. but it used to. Where did it go? Well, the rich and famous decided, let's take this island off the map. Okay. And we, we can live there, and yeah. no one can come there. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So if you want to die, like if you're like Juice World or David Bowie or something, yeah. you're like, ah, we'll stop living in the world and we'll go to live in Frisland. Apparently Juice World is coming back in 2025. 2025 from Frisland? Sorry. He's coming back. No, from the mountains. What? He's in the mountains right now and he's coming back. Did he say he was dead though? <laughs> yeah, apparently. But maybe that's the mountains of Frisland. Maybe. It might be. Because where other mountains are there? Mountains. Mountains. Yeah, what's it? They can't be. Too much sugar, man. Um... What the hell are we talking about? Ah, but what other dead, dead artists would be on your like like so there's a there's a the festival Frisland lineup, tour. the Frizzland tour, right? <laughs> the Frizzland tour. So we got we got Michael Jackson. Who else is yeah. on? Well, yeah, he's my main guy. Okay, you got give us one more dead one. Frizzland person. <laughs> the Frizzland people. Like, I'm just yeah. I think if Elvis I fake is probably my death, I'm Go to finding that place. Yeah. You have to, but imagine, you see, I think you, you have, have to, to find it first. Imagine discovering that place and just showing up when you're like, oh, no, but Bowie. there'd be like yeah. coast guards and stuff, right? I don't know. I'm sure they would. What I don't think you can paddle to Frisland. Elvis would be mm-hmm. driving around in a little boat shooting down. He's like, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You don't belong here. Yeah. <laughs> but if you get if you get famous enough, mm. right, then. One of the options I think they'll present to you is like, do you want to do, do you want to like put out this record and then go to Frizzland? Well, that would be nice. Because think of how much the album would make as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. You make an album and then die. Oh, yeah. Everyone's buying that shit. That's, that's normally what happens. Isn't yeah, it? and that yeah. other guy, XXXX Tentacians. Yeah. XXX Tentacles. Tentacles? <laughs> <laughs> that's what they call him in Frizzland. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's the octopus in the ocean. Really. He is. He, 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 uh, what is it, what's it called? He, no, not orbit. I don't like to use the word orbit. Hmm. What was that other thing? When you go around. Circumnavigate? Wait. Rotates. Uh, circumnavigates. Rotates. No, rotates isn't quite right. In, in circles? <laughs> in circle is a word. In circles. He's, He's oh. the octopus that encircles prison. Okay. Hmm. Now I think we can move on. Yeah. Is this uh, the weirdest podcast we've done? Oh, maybe. Arguably. Maybe. I don't think we ever brought up Frizzland before. No. So so would you rather tour the world for 10 years or make one big album and go to a secret island? Oh, I'd rather tour the world. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. You know, I can fake my death when I get sick of the fame. Whenever you want. Yeah. yeah. Mm, have the fame first. Yeah. And what uh, what I countries... I think you need the fame first, otherwise. No, I know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cares. I, I can't just <laughs> pretend to die and go to Frizzland now. Yeah. But, you know, if anyone wants to hit me up for Frizzland. I don't know about the fame thing. I just, I, I sound like such a <laughs> tryhard right now, but you I genuinely you... just want people to hear the music. Oh, yeah, I know. We're only yeah, having yeah. fun, though. But obviously, I mean, I've, I've thought about this as well. Like, like, would you rather be, like, say Billie Eilish and what's the other guy called? Phineas. Phineas. He's amazing. He's amazing. He is. Phineas is, is lit. Yeah. Phineas could walk down Grafton Street and like a few people would spot him. Mm. But if Billie Eilish walked down Grafton Street, she'd be like completely mobbed. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like that. I mean, it'd be a bit mad, wouldn't it? Yeah, it it depends. You never know. Like, yeah. mm. you'll know when Phineas you get has there. enough yeah. money. I think. Oh, Phineas has like, plenty of money. That's he fine. I take that. And and I think, but that's the thing. I, you know, the fame is like a is is a necessary part of success in music yeah. to some degree, you know. You yeah. don't need to be the, the super top tier, but obviously people need to know about your stuff and, mm. and follow it and get into the lore of the universe of, of who you are and stuff. Is there any lore in Maya? Mm. Like the character? Who is Maya? Well, personally, I am I think of myself as a same person, but on stage I need to be a bitch. Yes, yes. I, yes. I That's just, it. that that is my whole stage yes, yes, persona. Yes. I'm yeah. just a bitch. And I get loads of people <laughs> cheating on me as well. That's all my songs. Just men cheating on me. Wait, wait. Is and this real, my? Is this you normally or is this no, your character? No, not personally. Oh, okay. the, everything I'm saying right now is my character. Mm. Well, this is great. So, yeah. Yeah. And I'm, my boyfriend is like, are these are these songs about me? <laughs> Who are these guys? <laughs> <laughs> I have to, I have to these tell him. Like, kill? Before I show him a song, this isn't about you. <laughs> Don't take it personally. I want to tear your eyes out and put them in the sink. And uh, it's like, my eyes. 
Yeah, it's what well, it goes down. But he doesn't he, he doesn't take it to heart yet. No, good. And I yeah. think look, this is the thing as well, when you're when you're in a relationship and you're a musician, you're an artist, you have to have someone who's very understanding yeah. of how weird that that life is, you mm-hmm. know? Um, and that yeah, there's you have complete artistic license to say whatever you want in your music, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And people can take it or leave it. And it's not it's not a thesis and it's not an autobiography. And it's really cool that you have created a persona. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people, um, it's fine, obviously, as well, to do the, the introspective mm-hmm. stuff that's very deeply personal about me and stuff. And you might, you might have some stuff like that as well. But um, it is very cool. Cool to see someone putting thought into the character of their music as well. Yeah, I think that's what ties into the acting. I just, mm, I, yeah. visuals are so important these days, yeah. which mm. I actually saw a TikTok about Amy Winehouse and she was like, I'm not a model, I'm a musician. Why do mm. I have to look like this? But you do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So yeah. I do try, but yeah. I, I make good music as well. So yeah. that's, yeah. Yeah. you I know, mean, you, need, yeah, both. you like, need to have it all, yeah. you know, to get there. Well, this is, this is like you're saying there. I mean, people are scrolling Instagram very often on silent. Yeah. And whether you're a guy, whether you're a girl, whether you're a band, um, unfortunately, and even, even discerning music lovers such as us, it, it will be some wacky and interesting that that makes me stop. What the hell is this? You know? Yeah. So you do, you have that brief moment to capture people's attention and imagination and also, which I think you do really well, is the the visuals and all that, they match the sound. Because that's yeah. what you yeah. want as well for someone who's scrolling on mute. Is like, you want someone to see you and know what you sound like. Mm. Mm. And that's one of the most important, you know, visual aspects, I think. Definitely, yeah. And so with, um, with the goals over the next little while, um, you know, you've been working on these tracks. What's your plans? Do you have plans for... Leasing for gigs. What do you want to do over the next couple of years with your music? So my dad works in film, mm-hmm. as you know. Film is sort of related to the music industry, it but it's is. it's not yeah, really. Yeah, all yeah. they have, all it is, is contacts. Yeah. So I've gotten a fair few amount mm-hmm. of contacts that I wouldn't have gotten without my dad. So mm-hmm. he's definitely helping me out big time. Yeah. Especially when he has work as well, and he's taking all these calls from me. I'm just. I'm he's so thankful for him. He's yes. he's just amazing. Lil Al. Like Big shout out to Lil, Lil Al. Al. <laughs> Lil Al. So in terms of uh, the next song that we're about to hear you perform, do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Um, the girl that's blonde. <clears throat> my alter ego. Mm-hmm. So, so I that's actually, her. I dyed my hair black and red okay. underneath. And I want to go back to blonde now. Wait, is your hair actually blonde normally? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is um, that the actual color on the outside? This is this is a bit bleached, but okay. yeah. Um. Oh, oh my god, I've dyed my hair so much. It's like it's very yes. I had chopped it all off the other day because it was so dead. Anyway, <laughs> the girl that's blonde, which I hope to be soon. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's Who just about. Who is the girl that's blonde? It's whoever you want it to be. Okay. Any blonde girls you know, you know. Is she a nice person? She's she kind of just drags men into her house and kind of just manipulates them. Yeah, um, lovely. You know, I know people like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. Always blonde. Yeah. Mm. Always the fake blondes. The real yeah. blondes are mm. all right, but the They're fake right. ones. Oh, stay never away. trust ever. Um, and in terms of like uh, the other subject matter, is there something that you'd really love to write about one time that you haven't touched on yet? I have been writing more emotional songs, mm-hmm. which include uh, a lot of guitar which i don't cool. use i normally use bass but um, and yeah. yeah in my college that i go to now there's only one other guy who really mixes mm. um so we're just in the back room all day just mixing and producing while nice. everyone else is in there on their phones it's yeah it's mad. Yeah, waste. yeah yeah but yeah. um yeah so i've been writing a lot with him over christmas actually nice. um which I've never written any kind of sad songs before, Very maybe cool. one or two, but yeah. I'm really getting into that now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't want to get too much into it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's diversity. Look, look, you want um, you want that to be part, part of what you do, especially now with the way singles are released on Spotify and stuff like that. Yeah, it's good to have um, variety in what you're doing. You know, it's good to explore choices. that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and in terms of like a genre, 
that you'd really like to explore one time? Like, what would you see yourself if, you know, if you re reached kind of zenith Maya, like peak Maya, what would, what would you sound like? What would your genre be? I think it's daily gratitude. That's my kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I, I don't like to rap a lot because I'm not a rapper. Mm. So I like to include a bit of singing, but yeah, yeah I think just kind of saying weird shit, kind of Eminem yeah. shit, just yeah. weird yeah. ad libs. That's, yeah. I yeah. love mm. that. Right. So right. And that's it works. Kinda so keep doing it. Yeah. Um, well, listen, Maya, uh, we're going to wrap up. We had a great little chat there and it was, thanks so much. You did great on your very first you. podcast ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <hope> so. <laughs> um, and you look just, you know, we're big fans and, uh, and we think you've got a really, really cool sound and idea and, and persona and concept. So just keep developing it and keep having fun with your music at the end of the day. That's what it's about. And I think it comes through when, when people listen to it, when it's fun. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and yeah, come back again. And to everyone watching at home, like, I know it's still kind of early stages with, you know, your social media presence and your music and stuff, but is there a place where people can find, keep up with you or find your music and stuff like that? Yeah, you can find me um, on Instagram. I don't have anything up, actually, mm -hmm. for reasons that I can't talk about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you'll know soon. <laughs> I'll leave it there. <laughs> but, but what? They just look up Maya Foley. Yeah, just Maya, Maya Foley. M Y A F O L E Y. Mm -hmm. And uh, Maya stay the Maya the V. <laughs> I say Maya the V. And um, yeah, stay tuned for uh, much more from Maya Foley. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Cheers. The girl that's blonde has got you up at night. You're looking at the half of her face shining in the light. She's waiting on the porch for you to come inside. Knows exactly what she does, you see it in her eyes. Kinda sentimental, you'll never really know. She'll make you think she loves you, then she'll leave you all alone. Now you're both getting closer, the sun is setting soon. It's getting kinda cold, she says, just come into my room. The girl that's blonde. She knows what she does, see it in the way she talks Girl, not good She knows what she does and she's waiting for your touch That girl, oh god, she's got you where she wants you Standing right in front of her, can't look away She's got you hypnotizing in her eyes Don't need to spies, you can't disguise the way she lies You sympathize, you know you shouldn't, but you love The girl that's born she knows what she does, see it in the way she talks Girl, my god She knows what she does when she's waiting for your touch You fell for it, didn't you? When she told you to enter her room Said she'd stay right there with you Nine in the morning and you're lying on your own The girl that's blind she knows what she does and she's waiting for your touch The girl that's blonde She knows what she does and she's waiting for your touch The girl that's blonde She knows what she does so you don't know where she talks Girl, my god She knows what she does and she's waiting for your touch The girl that's blonde Girl, that's blonde.